Hello there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now Nvidia has launched a new Jetson module and along with a developer kit. So this is the Jetson Orin Nano. It comes with a 1024 core Ampere GPU, a hexa-core uh, processor from ARM, that's Cortex A78, eight gigs of memory. Uh, you've got M2 slots for storage. You've got USB, you've got display port, you've got GPIO pins, there's a whole bunch of stuff. And this board is great for embedded and edge type machine learning applications. So if you want to find out more, please well, let me explain. Okay, so let's dive in more into the Jetson Orin Nano. That's 1,024 GPU cores on a single board computer. Not something you see every day. So this is what the development kit looks like. As you can see, there is a fan, which is on top of a module, which slots into this uh, connector here. And then the rest of the board provides you with the IO. So that's HDMI and USB and ethernet and access to the GPIO pins and of course power and some camera connectors. So this thing offers uh, 40 tops uh, using 8-bit uh, integers powered by that 1024 ampere NVIDIA design GPU up to 80 times higher performance than the original Jetson Nano. And that's because of course it's got that 1024 core GPU. It's also got a six core ARM Cortex A78, which of course is an ARM V8.264 bit CPU. And you've got eight gigabytes of LPDDR5 memory. It's available for pre-order right now at $500, $499. Also note that the uh, carrier board can support Orin Nano and Orin NX modules. And we talk more about the other modules uh, in just a moment. But let's start with something a bit fun. This is Doom 3 running on, of course, an ARM processor, not an x86 processor, running with that NVIDIA GPU. This is the time demo. Now, of course, Doom 3 is a relatively old game now. However, it's just nice to see this running on this single board computer. It's not a PC, it's a single board computer with this NVIDIA GPU. I did the same thing with the other or, uh, Jetson boards that I have reviewed. And when we get to the end here, we're going to see the uh, final uh, frames per second, and this is at 720p. And there we have it, 50 frames a second at 720p. Now I also set it up on my 4K TV and I'm running in 1440p here. I run the same demo again and I get a speed of 23.7 frames a second. Again, this is a single board computer, not a big PC with huge fans and you know a dedicated graphics card with, you know, this is a single board computer. I think that's pretty impressive. Okay, I said we would talk about the different boards. So basically Nvidia uh, are not just into making, you know, uh, graphics cards for your PC. They're not also just into running the latest AI models, you know, ChatGPT and Bing and so on. They also make a whole bunch of these Jetson uh, modules, which can be in used in industrial and embedded solutions. So that includes self-driving cars, that's security systems, robots in factories, whatever it is you can think of, pharmaceuticals, whatever it is you can think of, they can be used. And you've got a whole range of different modules that can then be connected up to some kind of project that you're designing for whatever whatever application and included in that are some development boards at the Jetson Nano. This is the Jetson Orin development board and these are all the different boards in between and the uh, latest board, the Jetson Orin Nano developer kit sits in the middle. So originally here on the left, you've got the Jetson Nano, it's $149 to buy that kit and everything. And then you've still got a GPU on there. I'll talk more about that in a minute. At the other end, you've got a linear $2,000 development kit and this sits in the middle, $499 gives you much more performance than this one, less performance than the AGX Orin, sits in the middle and allows you to get going with the Orin Nano and the Orin NX uh, modules. And so looking at the different Orin modules, you can see here we've got the Orin Nano, which comes in four and eight gigabytes of RAM uh, variations, uh, seven to 15 watts, $199 or $299 and you get the module and then you can design a carrier board to go with it. You've got the NX ones which are offer greater performance, 100 tops here, a bit more uh, hungry, 25 watts there, $399 or $599 and then you've got the big ones, 275 tops there, up to 60 watts 
uh, $1,500, $1,600 there for, for a module. And so these are the new Jetson Orin modules. And as I just said, the Jetson Orin Nano is the smallest of these three. However, looking at the overall system, this is a quick table I put together. So at one end, you've got the Jetson Nano, five to 10 watts, $149 for the development kit, $129 for the module, quad core, uh, A57, uh, and 128 core Maxwell GPU. Absolutely brilliant way to get into sort of uh, 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 AI development, machine learning development on an embedded device at a very reasonable entry price there. And then you go all the way up. You've got Pascal GPU, you've got Volta GPU, you've got the Ampere GPU as you go across the range here. Also, once you get to the Xavier NX, you start to get tensor cores built in, which help with the machine learning stuff. And also some of them have even got uh, these uh, NVIDIA deep learning uh, cores on them as well. In fact, the really big one here has got two of those plus 60 fixed tensor cores plus any 2000 GPU cores. I mean, it's an absolute uh, monster. And you can see the power changes as you go up as well as the price. So it just depends on what application it is that you're building, what it is that you're getting into, which one of these you would choose. And now with the Jetson Orin Nano, uh, NVIDIA are bringing Ampere GPU with tensor cores built into it at the lower end of the Orin uh, range. So what does one of these Orin Nano uh, boards look like? Well, you've got six quarters A78 uh, cores there, as we're just showing here. Okay, and you've got uh, then the GPU here in the middle. You've got video decode and other supporting bits of hardware acceleration. You've got loads of ports around the site, I2C and Gigabit Ethernet and you know USB and PCI, because there are, of course, some M2 slots on the bottom of this. And one thing to note here is there's no accelerated video encode. So you've got the accelerated video decode, but not accelerated uh, encode here. And this module can then be used for whatever application it is that you're, that you're working at. Now, I've done some of my own testing. I am fortunate that I have a Jetson Nano, Jetson Xavier NX, a Jetson Orin Nano now, and an AGX Orin here because uh, NVIDIA have sent them to me in the past to review. So I've got some uh, CPU tests here. We'll look about some machine learning tests in a minute. This is my thread test tool. And as always, my tools are available in my GitHub repository. Link in the description below. Or if I've got it, put it in there. Just type in Gary Explains GitHub and it will be the first thing that turns up on Google. So what do we show here? My multi-threaded test tool, which just looks for prime numbers in multiple threads. Uh, lower is better. So single score core, uh, single core score here, just over one second from the Nano, 0.9 for the Xavier Next, 0.7 for the uh, Orin Nano, and half a second for the AGX uh, Orin. Very different when you, of course, when you get to multi. Here we've got four seconds for 16 threads, just over two and, a half, two and a half seconds for the Xavier NX, under two seconds for the Orin Nano, under one second. And of course, this thing here has got you know loads and loads of CPU cores and running very well compared to a quad core here. So this follows the path as you expect. Now, this is basically the trend, slower to faster as you go across the range. And again, if we look at my sublet uh, compiler test, again, code inside of GitHub, same thing again, slow down to fast, and you can see that progression as you go across the range, as they improve the CPU configuration, the memory bandwidth and so on, as you go across the different modules. And when we go to my software base, SHA256 hash generation tool, again, single threaded and multi threaded same idea, except for the Xavier NX and the Orin Nano get swapped around here. So in this case, the Xavier NX is actually faster than the Orin Nano. And when we go to the open SSL speed test, this will be using hardware acceleration for SHA256. We see again, these two are swapped around. The Xavier NX is actually slightly faster, but again, still this general progression, the Jetson Nano is the slowest, the Jetson uh, AGX Orin is the fastest, and the ones in the middle uh, are in the middle, basically. And then you see here the same thing when we get to my memory test tool, this general graph. Interestingly here though, the Xavier NX doesn't do so well. This is running 16 threads, allocating chunks of 128 megabytes at a time. It doesn't seem to do so well there, but that's uh, an interesting graph, again, representing the same thing. Now, when it comes to machine learning, NVIDIA have got lots of stuff that they provide out of the box to make life easier for people who are developing uh, machine learning type applications, as I said, vision applications or whatever it is that you're doing. And one of those is their PeopleNet transformer model. And what it does, it detects one or more physical objects from within three categories within an image and returns a bounding box around it as well as a label. And so it can detect people, 
bags and faces. The transformer net, people net transformer model was trained on a proprietary data set of 1.5 million images and more than 39 million objects for the person class. The training data set consists of a mix, camera height, crowd densities and field of view. So it's not just one particular camera setup. Basically what the idea is you could take this and very easily deploy it in some kind of uh, camera visual setup so you can detect people, for example. Uh, and they have a, a benchmark that they run that just shows the neural network part of this running. And we can see here that the Jetson Nano, which doesn't have any of those tensor cores, running on a much smaller GPU, can do this at two frames a second. Not bad, actually, considering you're paying £149, certainly dollars, certainly a good way to get into this. And then we see that the Xavier NX and the Orin are offering this mid-range performance here. And then, of course, the AJX Orin is running, you know, really, really uh, mega fast. It means it can cope with multiple streams from multiple cameras and still uh, run pretty well on that. And I actually have here a demo of this running, and this is actually running on the Orin Nano. So this is a pre-recorded video stream, and as you can see, it's returning a bounding box saying person 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 and as they're moving around now this runs at about eight frames a second by the time you actually get in the actual video do the decode and do everything else it can run at about eight frames a second which uh, if you don't need real time so even for some kind of security camera system for detecting this would be certainly good enough certainly good enough to get you up and running building these kinds of apps uh, and so there you go. That is the uh, PeopleNet transformer running there on an actual video feed and detecting the different objects. OK, so there it is, the Jetson Nano Orin development kit. I'd love to hear what you think about the board in the comments below. OK, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.